up on Canada's finest house um, through uh, a friend of a friend, uh, uh, Nick Ferrucci, uh, who approached me and asked me if I wanted to do some music for this project. So I naturally inclined to do that because uh, it's Canada. I like Canada, and I like house, and I like fine house. So it seemed a, a pretty uh, logical thing to do. <laughs> Fifths came from a fifth note, which is just a note, root key, up five semitones plus, and it's just this little... Fifths I actually did before the um, before I was asked to do it, and I was going to release it myself, but it's just kind of one that I had on the side that I, I didn't know where to put it or how to do a B-side for it kind of thing, so when when the time came to you know release a track for Kevin's Finest House, I kind of flipped back to that one and unloaded it, so it was kind of cheesy like that, but fifth note is, is uh, a root key with uh, another key on top that's about five semitones up, so it's uh, a fifth, so it's like uh, My definition of fine house is house that doesn't suck, not preset house. I think a lot of producers fall victim to the sample library loop where they're uh, going through these just well-known sample libraries that everybody uses and then they uh, implement them into their tracks and I can hear it. No, I'm not a big fan of that. Girl, you know I love it when you work, when you're out on the floor, work, when you move that body. Like it's crazy. We just literally put out a uh, email blast to the, you know, the, our database that we've reached out to different artists and producers nationwide, from from Halifax to Vancouver, and uh, invited them to to submit and uh, put a deadline. It was extended a few times because we needed uh, everybody needed more time, but uh, it finally made it out, and I'm pleased with with the submissions, and hopefully we can do another one. How we selected the tracks for the CD was that there were several producers all across Canada that sent in well over 35 tracks for both me and Nick to peruse through. It was a bit of a painstaking process because there was a lot of really good gems on there, but after some time and a bit of fighting and a bit of arguing, we were able to narrow it down to 14. In regards to the order of the CD, what I did was I had the tracks in my own studio and I spent some time just putting it together to get a good, a good flow and a good logical sense put together brought it over to High Bias Studios and recorded it there. I've had the pleasure to know Nick Fiorucci for many years. Uh, you know, when I wasn't known in the industry, I was a fan of the label. High Bias Records is a record label that was run by two people, Nick Fiorucci and Michael Ova. Unfortunately, about 10 years into their working relationship, Michael Ova passed away. But to continue on with what High Bias was doing for the Canadian and international music scene, Nick kept the label going and going strong. He put out some of the most legendary records um, ever in house period whether it was uh, get into the music you know and and uh, there's this other one that I used to harass him about one hand of a time I think it was a uh, groove sector dun, 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 dun. and even um, like drum attack and even his stuff was just he was really ahead of his time and he put out some incredible 12 inches and he's still here so what does that tell you you got to take your hat off to him. To, to weather the storm for this many years, I've seen people come, blow up, and disappear, and he's still here, and he's still pushing Canadian beats. Nick is a very smart businessman. I mean, he's he's um, weathered a lot of changes in the industry, and he's worked with a lot of people. Continues to put out stuff constantly, which is what you really need to do as a label. And he's you know he's competing on the world market. <laughs> Back in 0304, uh, uh, Nick and I had kind of known about each other through the, through the scene, through the grapevine, and uh, finally actually we met actually at one of my shows. And we hooked up in the studio and started working on a couple tracks. Actually, in fact, back then, we actually ended up winning the 04 Urban Music Award. Since then, Nick's been uh, introducing me to quite a few uh, talented artists on High Bias, and uh, it's, been, uh, it's been great working alongside him and some other great remixers on some track. It 
It's a funny story because that song was originally an acoustic pop rock track with Carlo Coppola, who, who's really a pop rock artist. I love his voice, I love his style. We met a few years ago. He's, we've done a couple of other songs together. And um, I took that song and remixed it and then handed it over to Marty, who put his flavor onto it. And so it's kind of like a three, three-way uh, track, for sure. It's great. So why were you so lucky to have two tracks inside of this <laughs> finest house? You had to ask me. Miss Raquel, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. This, this you got. Hold on a sec. We got. This is, this is a true advocate of the of the house music scene in Canada for real. Here, she's actually publicist of Canada's Finest House, host of Electronica. She runs Scenester magazine, and she she's a promoter in the nightclubs. And and ladies and gentlemen, this is the one that you know supports the scene and we got we need more people like Miss Raquel for sure and I thank you for sure I'd love to think that it you know that that I'm be, been part of the scene um, I'm certainly supported and that's why I put out the CD and uh, hope to keep going if, if we could stay on this this role right now I tell you we're we're uh, kicking butt it's it's really fantastic I mean a lot of the artists are charting they're touring they have a unique sound that's that's actually making noise and, and actually changing the electronic scene. Canada is definitely on top of the world right now. What Canada's Finest House is, it came from an idea that me and Nick Fiorucci at High Bias Records had. We've been discussing at length the amount of times people seem to have this impression that the only really good top quality music comes from overseas or from anywhere but North America. So we figured why don't we take the opportunity to take some of Canada's best producers and put them all on one compilation CD. The track that I have on the CD is called Explosive. I did it with one of my studio partners, Gavin Bradley, and we also roped in a vocalist named Camille. Um, actually with a good friend of mine, Jay Force, who's on the CD. Uh, I actually started making beats with Jay Force about a year and a half ago, and this was our first track. It actually just uh, came out recently. And uh, then I started working more closely together with my partner, Danny. And uh, Danny ended up doing a remix, which made it to the CD, and it's uh, it's doing well. We signed a deal with Sketch, and Nick thought it would be a good idea to put it on the, the mix compilation. Hmm, the possibility of Canada's Finest House 2. That hasn't been brought up yet, but however, keep an eye on my website, cozy.com for details. Talk to me in, in a few months from now when uh, the record's been out for a while. I'd uh, definitely love to follow it up. The scene is definitely growing. Canada's on fire right now. There's a lot of uh, great things happening, more, than, more so than I've ever seen in many years. I think there should be another one because this, this country just keeps on putting out incredible songs. There's producers that aren't featured on that CD that are starting a bubble now, and I hope that they get the opportunity. People in cities like Winnipeg and Regina even, um, Vancouver, uh, Victoria. It's, it's incredible. There's producers out in Halifax. It's, it's mind-blowing. The talent that exists in this country is incredible. There are so many other Canadian artists that really deserve some, some props as well. You take DJs and artists and producers like Max Brown, Plastic Man, John Aquaviva, Dave Armstrong. There are still so many other Canadian artists that, that people need to know are here from Canada. Why should someone go up? Number one, you got to support Canadians. Number one. Number two, I mean, uh, there's a lot of huge people on that CD. You got you got Hatteras, you got Dead Mouse, uh, you know, Flipside, Preach, The Cozy. I mean, it's just sorry if I if I forgot some names on the CD, but eh, it's, it's a great package put together. Regarding some of the artists that are on the CD, 
so many of them are doing so well. For example, Dead Mouse, he was announced the most influential artist of 2007 on Beatport. Uh, you take someone like uh, Hatiris, he's been banging it out ever since his track Space Invaders came out over 10 years ago. And he's been forging a strong path, not only as a producer, but with his record label as well. You take someone like Kashmir Ray, who's not only delving a strong path in the gay scene, but breaking out on, on record labels like Star 69 and his own delicious label as well. Gavin Bradley, in his own right, a fantastic singer, songwriter, forging a strong path too. DJ Addy, fantastic tribal producer, DJ, promoter, doing his thing as well. And I'm really happy to have so many good artists like this on, on the same CD. Like, Canadi Canadia has been doing quite well. Um, and I, 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 I'd like to think that, that was a group effort between you know myself and, and many others who have been contributing a lot lately. Uh, a terrace, I think, was the, yeah. was the big thing to come out of Canada um, when Electro started kind of blowing up a bit and he had his Space Invader hit and that kind of gave you know Canada a good honorable mention in the global contenders of the people who were all like in the Electro House. We're uh, selling on all the major download sites. Uh, we've, we've already charted seven singles out of, out of 14 so half the songs have charted top 100 on the top downloads, uh, dance, dance download sites in the world. So we're extremely pleased and, uh, you know, I mean, obviously we want the support in our own backyard in Canada as well as uh, worldwide. So I think the world is taking notice right now to, to, this, to the Canadian scene, for sure. A lot of people, when I go out to other countries, are just saying, wow, well, you know, what are, they, what are they putting in the water in Canada? You know, it's just like...